Hello everyone, my name is Jakub Kotze from Weir Minerals, South Africa. Um, I'm going to present at the Engineering Simulation Conference uh, for QFinSoft. Um, I'm privileged to be part of this um, exceptional uh, conference that is being hosted by QFin every year. Um, without further ado, I'm going to move forward and start the presentation. The topic of the presentation for today from our side is multi-physics simulation of overband type magnetic separator using ANSYS and Rocky DM. This presentation was uh, collaborated together between myself from Weir Minerals and Jesse Quick from QFinSoft, as well as Evan Smuts, also from QFinSoft. Just some background on Weir Minerals um, in general. Um, this year, Weir Minerals has achieved a record-breaking 150 years of existence. Uh, Weir Minerals has been integral to the engineering environment for so many years. Um, there's a brief timeline here as to what Weir Minerals has achieved in the 150 years of their existence. Our purpose, our distinctive com competencies and values, we're people focused, we focus on performance, on our customers and technology. We also believe in thinking safety first, uh, delighting our customers, always doing the right thing, aiming high and respecting each other. As part of the Weir Minerals Roadmap is the comprehensive and integrated sustainability roadmap. Our aim is to create sustainable solutions, making our customers more sustainable to enable net zero, reducing our footprint. The aim is to cut all our relative emissions by 50% by 2030, nurturing our unique culture by delivering top tier employee net promoter scores and championing zero harm by protecting our people and environments. The Weir Minerals product line includes all the parts all the way from the combination down through the milled circuit and dewatering. Here's a brief overview as to all of the products that Weir Minerals offers. Another slide showing the product offerings by Weir Minerals. We do the pumps, brushing equipment, hoses, other combination equipment, pontoons, screens, cyclones, a vast array of products indeed. Some background on myself. My name is Jakub Kotze. Uh, I've got a qualification, bachelor's engineering degree in engineering, mechanical engineering. I've been with Weir Minerals since 2019 until present. My current role at Weir Minerals is I'm the team leader for combination design team for the Africa and Middle East region. DM experience, I've been using DM software for eight years, uh, specifically Rocky DM. I've presented at the QFIN Soft Engineering Simulation Conferences for 27 to 2019. Um, I've wrote a paper and a presentation for ESSS on the use of DEM to optimize mining equipment. My current areas of expertise is combination and bulk material handling systems. Moving along to the topic at hand, um, here's an illustration of a trio, weird trio overband magnetic separator. It, it consists of a magnet with a belt drive around it, which as it picks up the material, it moves it away from the area where it's been removed. There's a video, brief video showing the magnetic separator in operation. The purpose of the magnetic separator is to remove foreign and tramp material from a bulk material stream, as you would typically find on a belt conveyor. This tramp uh, is, is typically not required as part of the process. They can either be harmful, it needs to be separated because of a recycling system. Mostly it's because of the damage that it would cause for downstream equipment. We at TRIO offers two different types. We've got the CR type, which is the electromagnetic magnet, self-cleaning with a belt. And we've got the CRP type, which is a permanent magnet self-cleaning type. The presentation today will focus on the CRP type permanent magnet. Here's an overview of the Weir Minerals magnetic separators features. It's robust, proven design. It can be either electromagnetic or permanent, self-cleaning, uh, heavy duty. There's a range of products that we've got. 
And today we're looking at the CRP36, a 36 inch by 42 inch magnet. It can take a half inch nut from a nine inch suspension height, 228 millimeters. On the magnetic separator fundamentals, uh, basically there's two positions where you would posit where you would place these overband magnetic separators, either a cross belt or at the discharge end. For our presentation and simulation, we're looking at the discharge on the head pulley. We remove the material at the head end. As you can see, the bulk stream would follow the normal tra trajectory of the belt conveyor and the champ would be taken out and deposited into a separate chute. For the simulation, the software and the workflow we used for this simulation, uh, we used ANSYS Maxwell, Rocky DM, uh, Space Claim, and the Rocky API. So inputs on the Maxwell side, CAD geometry from Space Claim, uh, material properties, the magnetic field driven by the magnet, that's properties received from Weir. Uh, on the Rocky DM side, we had also CAD assemblies on, on all the components, uh, material properties of the boundaries and particles, and then magnetic properties for the materials. So from ANSYS, we had exported the magnetic field file, uh, and that was imported into Rocky as an input. Together, we used the Rocky API to create the module. We, with Python coding, we created the plugin to do the simulation. After all was done, we had the Rocky export. Just a brief overview on ANSYS Maxwell. ANSYS Maxwell is a low frequency electromagnetic FEA2 for simulating electromagnetic and low frequency electromagnetic performance in motors, transformers, sensors, and permanent magnet devices. Uh, we currently look at magneto electrostatic, it's transient with rigid motion, it's FEA based solvers. Um, we've got template based analytical tools. Uh, there's Simplora, which is for circuit and system simulation, and then we've got multi-physics coupling with ANSYS Mechanical and ANSYS CFD. Specifically for this simulation, we've used electromagnetic field, which is driven by permanent magnetic behavior. Um, the design type is set to magnetostatic. Uh, the material selection properties is very important. ANSYS Maxwell uses an FEA model, so the field is solved on an FEA mesh. The region around the model is sized to cover appropriate area for field calculation. This is to avoid issues with the BCs being too close and for particle interactions. While geometry can be created for primitive shapes, it has got a direct link to a space claim. So complex CAD geometry can be imported with little, little effort. Updates can also be done in space claim, and that can be transferred by refreshing the CAD. On the material selection side, we've, we've got the magnet. ANSYS Maxwell has got a large library of magnetic materials. It's supported by Grant of Materials database. There's some sim simulation ready materials with relevant magnetic properties defined. Uh, which can be edited and defined, you know, with custom materials as well. So as you can see, the Weird Trio CRP36 magnet has been imported and defined. Nonlinear material properties are also possible. So for example, relative permeability can be either simple or nonlinear and also anisotropic. This is the simulation as an example of a nonlinear curve definition. Here you can see the effect of the boundaries at the domain extents. The boundary type is the Newman boundary, which is generally used for exterior boundaries of the solution domain. Magnetic field is tangential to the boundary and the flux cannot cross it. So you can see the magnetic field vectors are plotted along the conveyor center line and uh, the field exists solely due to the permanent magnet. As this Maxwell simulation point cloud is generated. So here you can see two graphical illustrations of what the point cloud looks like. Uh, we've plotted the magnetic field contours along the center line at nine inches below the magnet, 
approximately 230 millimeters, because that is the effective height um, limit for removing nuts and bolts. The next step would be to export the point cloud data from Maxwell. We've got a calculator after that, it's getting calculated and exported. Uh, the export is exported to a TXT file, which will then be used in Rocky. Another representation of the force field. It's calculated from the field's calculator using the material parameters and the magnetic field shown earlier. Force is shown in Newtons. Again, as discussed, suspension height at 230 millimeters. Moving along to the Rocky DM simulation, the setup for the magnetic separator. We've got the geometry brought in and the movement of the, the belt together with the positioning of the magnetic field. Uh, you can see an illustration of the magnetic field at the bottom left. We've also have a particle inlet. We've got the bulk material at 200 tons per hour, and we've got tramp material at 0.5 tons per hour. The tramp material would be typical bolts and nuts. We've got the feed conveyor, which is running at 1.25 meters per second at 16 degrees. And then we've got the shear permanent belt magnet self-cleaning with a belt speed of two meters per second. Other geometry is the bulk material chute and the tramp metal chute. It's just another overview of all the setups uh, we've, that we've created, all the boundaries and position, and how the simulation is running. On the API scripting side, the scripting has been done for the magnetic force and the ferrous material. Um, it's based on the mathematical model of the magnetic force found in Jan Svoboda magnetic techniques for the treatment of materials, um, the, specifically for the magnetic force on a suspended magnet. So here yeah, from the theory, the magnetic field and the relative permeability inputs into Rocky. Here we see a simulation animation of the bulk material with the tramp inside there. Then the bolts being red, the nuts being yellow, and as they are removed from the bulk material stream. The bulk material is unaffected by the magnet. It follows the normal trajectory into the chute where the ferrous magnetic particles are being removed, removed out of the bulk material stream, and pulled against the magnet and being deposited away from the, with the, Shear magnet belt. Here's another simulation showing, showing the counting of the particles. So as you can see in the top left, there's a graph which uh, shows the counting of the particles as they are simulated. Also a close-up showing how the ferrous metal particles are being pulled against the magnet and being moved away by the belt. At the end, we can create the cumulative sum of all the particles and create the graph. Uh, the graph, the active graph that you showed on the video was done with scripting through Python script. Finally, we can plot the simulation results. Ultimately, what we want to determine what the efficiency is for the magnet. Uh, given that we can calculate the amount of particles that was lost. So, it was shown that we've got a 99.4% efficiency for, for calculating the tramp metal. 98% of the nuts were removed and 100% of the bolts. So only a single nut made it through and wasn't removed. So there's the little culprit. That's the end of the presentation. So I hope you found this interesting as to our Rocky DM can be used together coupled with ANSYS in order to simulate overband belt magnet simulator operation. 
useful information can be extracted from this, which can validate on-site conditions and also to determine if a specific magnet model would be suitable for application. Thank you very much.